Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ and welcome to our series of Make a Carmelite Friend. So today we will have our topic with regards to all Carmelite saints. Every November 14th, the whole Carmelite family commemorates the Feast of all Carmelite saints. This is a day to remember not only the many saints whose holiness is recognized by the Church, but also the many unknown champions of Carmel who now enjoy the glorious vision of God in heaven. They are not saints not because of their extraordinary abilities, but because of their heroic virtues that led them and other people more closer to God. They are aware of the reality that God is pleased not in doing great things, but in footing love in all our actions. I like to always remember the words of our Holy Father, St. John of the Cross, namely, that love consists in not in feeling great things, but in having great detachment and in suffering for the Beloved. Love is the epitome of all holiness. So even if we are doing little things out of our love for the Lord and our neighbors, it is something more precious in God's eyes than the combined works and labors with vain ambitions. Our Holy Mother, St. Teresa, reminds us that our goal is to be patterned after the example of all the saints. As she says in the Book of Foundations, what numbers of saints we have in heaven who have worn this habit of ours, we must have the holy audacity to aspire with God's help to be like them. The struggle will not last long, but the outcome will be eternal. We can all become saints according to our state in life. The fidelity to one's vocation and witnessing for Christ is a powerful message we can give to the whole world. Our shortcomings, failures, and sins should not hinder us in witnessing for the truth. God's unfathomable mercy and grace is always ready to help us in the struggle to holiness. May we find a true friend and inspiration in the lives of our saints, our companions toward heaven. Until next time we meet again here in Make a Carmelite Friend, may God bless us all.